<laughs> Hi. Um, which production started really bad and then slowly got better, and vice versa? In regard, like, in, in terms of a whole production? Yeah, whole production. Um, I mean, I, I've been very fortunate to, to not have been... Like, the stuff that started really bad it was never really seen by anybody. You know, like, there are a couple pilots that, that were never really seen. Um, uh, so, I mean, I've been really fortunate to have been a part of projects that never really started bad. Or really good and then went bad. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of lucky that way. Uh, what was it like working with Sarah Michelle Gellar? How old is she? <laughs> what was it like? What was it like working with her? Yeah. Like working with God. <laughs> Lovely. Sarah, I, I, I love Sarah. You know, it was very... She worked her ass off, you know? She was in every scene. Um, that's a lot of work. You know? Huh? Not when she was dead. But then she was shooting an episode of Saturday Night Live, so she was still working. Um, I've not seen an episode of Rain. Because listen, I'm a twin and I don't want to see evil twins. I don't want to see this thing, I don't want to watch TV. I read a lot. And I work, I, I work, I read, and I think. A lot. I cr and I cry sometimes. <laughs> Like, we're in did I answer your question? Thanks, sweet. Thanks, buddy. Derp. Hi. Um, <laughs> you were in every episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer except for one. Right. Uh, talking with dead people. Right. Was it weird missing out on that episode? Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't have any dead people to talk to. <laughs> you know, essentially that was the... Uh, but, I mean, it just kind of sucks because, the, uh, and now it would, it would be cool to say I was in every single episode. No, I was paid for every single episode. But that doesn't really matter. And I was in the presentation. So the only person that was in every single episode was Sarah, with the presentation that we reshot. So I don't feel I don't feel so bad. I came close, but not quite. <laughs> Uh, hi, um, I'll preface this question by admitting that I was actually stuck in a lineup that side, so I got here a bit late. So if someone's asked this question, tell me to sh shut up and sit down. Okay. Um, there were a lot of there were a lot of plot lines on uh, on Buffy about Xander sort of not having superpowers or feeling a bit left out, or people telling Xander that he didn't have you know superpowers and he should feel left out. Um, how how like? Did that actually transfer into you at all? Like, did were you ever sort of saying, "Well, I really would like some superpowers," or I'd like? No, I never wanted a power. Okay. <laughs> because that was the only thing that that set him apart. Mm -hmm. If I had a power, then the power that I have of observation and witty, sardonic, <laughs> rapier shit, <laughs> um, it, 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 he would be, I would be voiceless. Because what, I can throw balls of fire out of my palms, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, but you can make witty one-liners while you're doing that. Huh? You can make witty one-liners while you're doing that. Yeah, but still, I mean, there's something Xander was... It came from the insecurity of that he felt that he was different from everybody. Um, so, yeah, no, I was... The only time that I felt really uh, bad, where it affected my life, was, was the episode when we were done, where... I put the, the, the spell on the girls so they all like me. <laughs> and right before, I mean, I was, I was in there because my scene was about to be shot, and all the girls in school were bagging on Xander. How nerdy he was, how, you know, stupid and ugly. And I'm sitting there, like, Nikki sitting there, and I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> you know, because it's, it's, that's me. Oh. So that was the only time that I felt that, but never because I didn't have the superpower. Cool. Awesome, thanks so much. Thank you. Hey, Charisma Carpenter, did we ever date? Never, she's the one I didn't date. <laughs> this isn't a question, just a comment. I wanted to say, you're awesome, and Xander was totally badass. Loved his character on Buffy so much. Thank you so much. So, I know you might be a little bit biased, because one of them took out your eye. But who was your favorite big bad throughout the seasons of Buffy? 
My, well, the, the, the thing with Nathan is this. I was no joke. Joss, no, I, I love Nathan. My, my favorite big bad was uh, was the master. Uh, anything in the because again the first season was magical, you know. So we knew that we had something. It's, it's, it was a, after that first. It's like holy shit, there's something really cool is happening here, you know. Um, but I was actually Joss. I think it was season five. He, I get uh, I get a message from upstairs that Joss wants to meet me in my trailer, and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. You know what I mean? What did I do? And I'm just racking my brain, like, uh, did I fuck up somehow? So he comes in, he's like, I just want you to know that I'm I'm writing a show for you. And I'm like, oh sweet. He's like, it's about um, it's about basically a western and out of space. And I'm like, that sounds and you're gonna play the captain. Like, so I was actually supposed to be I was it really was, I was supposed to play Captain Titans. <laughs> It was written for me, and then uh, and then the last season Fox wanted the show, so Joss is like, we can't do it. So then Nathan, not only did he take my eye out, he's Captain Tight Pants. So really, it was. And like I don't know if you guys noticed. <laughs> Never say that to anybody, by the way. Hi. Um, I was kind of sitting there and I was thinking about the show and I realized that of all the male characters, you actually hooked up with the most girls on the show. And so I was kind of wondering, like, if you could have written it, who you would have ended up with in terms of, like, Buffy or Faith or Willow or Cordelia or anybody. Or Anya. <laughs> well, it's hard to say. They're all fairly dysfunctional relationships. <laughs> um, well, Willow obviously doesn't want me. Want me. <laughs> she, she made the turn. Um, I, you probably... Um, Faith is too wild. It would probably have to be Buffy. And, and that was gonna... That, that was gonna happen for a while at the end and then... Joss had realized that he doesn't want any of his main characters to be happy. <laughs> so you took your girl and he took your eye? What's that? You took your girl and he took your eye. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So I got this joke, by the way, which I love, and maybe some of you have heard it. I apologize. I just, it's such an awesome joke. So, <clears throat> this guy goes into a bar, and he's drinking with his buddies. And um, he has a bit too many drinks. And he, he throws up all over his shirt, and he's like, oh no, no, I promised my wife that I wouldn't drink, and I've got vomit all over my shirt. And his buddy says, no, 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 you're cool. Just take $20 out of your wallet, put it in your pocket, so when your wife asks you what happened, say, oh, oh, I was at the bar with some guys, with the guys drinking, uh, and nothing bad, but this really drunk guy threw up on my shirt, but it's okay. He gave me $20, and everything, for, for, for dry cleaning, and everything's gonna be okay. And the guy's like, oh my god, what a great idea. So he's there for like eight more hours and he's getting real drunk. And he leaves the bar and he stumbles home. And he gets to his front walk and the sun's coming up. And his wife opens the door and she says, Charlie, you've been drinking. And Charlie says, no, no. I was at a bar, and this really drunk guy threw up on me, but he gave me $20 to get my shirt dry cleaned. And she says, that's $50, Charlie. And Charlie says, oh yeah, he also shit in my pants. <laughs> Hi. Um, Hi. I also love you. Um, I just wanted to say, I, obviously a lot of people like the Once More with Feeling episode, but my favorite was Hush. Um, Hush and uh, I was just wondering how difficult it was to um, do that episode without being able to speak for a majority of it. 
to, to... Without being able to use your voice and speak for the majority. It was five minutes. It was... Did you guys... Was that my... Was that, was that my inside voice? <laughs> <laughs> did I say that? Did I say five minutes? Um, purely as, as a selfish actor point of view, it was great because we didn't have any dialogue to learn. You know? We got home. So we can kind of go home and be with our families and stuff. Uh, in an artistic realm, it was just amazing because when I saw those little those little fuckers like float, I'm like, what's going on? You know? I mean, the show was already great. It's like, holy moly! You know? Um, it was just great. I mean, because you know, obviously there was like a rig that they were rigged to. Yeah. But even like as they're rigged and I can hear the chains going and they're just doing that, I'm like, this is gonna be this is gonna be scary. So yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yo, so this is just a question based on a bet between my friends. In ep uh, episode, season 2, episode 16, you know the episode where all the girls fall in love with you? Yeah. Uh, you turned them all down because you're a good guy. Uh, who would you have had to pick if you had no choice but to pick one? My buddy says uh, you're going to pick Buffy's mom. My other friend says it's Buffy. Buffy's uh, there's, mom. Like 200, <laughs> there's, there's like 200 bucks riding on this, so your response. 200 bucks riding on this? Yeah. Can you give me four names? Give me four. And then, and then I'll, I'll, I'll pick out of the four if it's right, possible. So Buffy, Mom, Buffy, Willow, and I was that even like the witch girl who did the spell? Amy. Amy, right? Oh, Amy, okay. No, we can take Amy out of the equation. <laughs> Fine, Drusilla, I'm glad you're Wait. <laughs> we can take Willow out of the equation. Alright, fine. Okay, so... We can take Buffy's mom out of the equation. <laughs> so I don't know what that leaves us with and who wins the money. Do you lose the money? No, no, it's not my bet. Oh, okay. So, um, so, so I think it's gonna be Buffy. You just won 50 bucks. Thank you. <laughs> Did you record that? Okay. But, wait, but did you not record what I just said? Are you just gonna text him and say, hey, I just asked him, and he's gonna be, fuck you, liar. I mean, is that gonna work really, you know? Okay. Good luck collecting.